The people that want to know Muse cells. Well, by the end of this video, you are going to know more about Muse cells. So let's get into it, guys. So Muse cells, these are the new cells coming down the pipe. Multilinear stress enduring differentiating cells. These are a pluripotent cell that can directly influence tissues that fall under all three germ layers. That's why they're exciting. Okay, so they still have to, um, you know, prove their worth in the market a little bit more. There's uh, limited studies. I think there's under about 20 right now when you do the research. When I started looking into them, there was only about four or five. Okay, so that's, you know, in stark contrast to the tens of thousands of studies that are out there for the MSCs. But in principle, they're same in a way, right? Like they're an adult cell. Okay, so they've turned into what they're meant to turn into, similar to the way an MSC is an adult cell, and it's turned into what it's meant to turn into. That's why it's safe, you see. That's why you have these non-tumorigenic markers that are coming from it. But the difference is, these things have the capability to directly influence tissues that fall under all three germ layers, mesoderm, endoderm, and ectoderm. So, well, we're very hopeful that we're going to be getting a lot of gains in uh, neurodegenerative conditions, similar to the, well, if we get gains anywhere similar to the way that we're getting them with the muscle skeletal conditions, we're literally going to change the world. And I don't say that lightly. I know it sounds crazy, but we very well may be changing the world with these things. So let's get into some more details about these things, right? Because it's big business as well. You got a lot of big players here. I don't know if you guys seen Dr. Khan all over the place. He's a, a talking head stem cell doctor that's been making the rounds. He's been one of the big megaphones about the Muse cells. And um, if you, you know, find, f fall into his fly trap, you might find yourself with a $100,000 $100, quote with some, you know, some Muse cells. But um, when you look into like these models, he's, this guy, he's, he's sending people all over the world. He's got clinics in different places. Uh, he's sending people to Mexico. And, um, you know, the products that are being put out, they're not really, you know, like the, the branding, the labeling things aren't really matching up with what they are. I'm going to take you guys to school a little bit more on these things. Okay. So to isolate and culture a muse cell for wide scale public clinical use, like, you know, for, so everybody can have a muse cell. So a clinic can service the, the public with an isolated culture one's pretty impossible for that to take place. So I'm not going to begin to explain all the details about why that is, but it comes down to it's a very inefficient model to scale. You can speak to the AI, right, guys? Like you guys, everybody's very efficient with having all of the answers to all the questions in their in their pockets these days, right? So get on the AI and ask it. You know what's the uh, you know what's the right way to scale a, a mu cell production at the lab? Okay, it's not going to tell you it's the isolated culture model. Okay, so anybody who's coming at you with a label that says a hundred million mu cells or whatnot, they're just trying to you know blow smoke at you there a little bit and just they're counting on you not knowing and just marketing and selling you on a hundred million mu cells because it's easier for them basically. But the way that these things are actually getting made at the lab is through an enrichment. Okay, so MSCs naturally have a subpopulation of these mu cells in about two percent, from my understanding. So you can do things to the Wharton's jelly MSC during production you can stress them out in various different ways to increase that number you can enrich them all right so you can enrich them all the way up to about 60 percent and that's a quality product okay so what's going to be happening you, know, you heard it here first is you're going to be getting people selling you 100 million mu cells with various you know differences in um in, in the enrichment okay it's going to be anywhere from like two to 60 and people are just going to be trying to tell you, here, here's 100 million mu cells. It's going to get worse, okay? Because Dr. Deswana, the scientist that discovered these things, she's at this time, like at this very moment, she's probably signing a contract with somebody to sell her name, okay, to be attached to a product. She's making money right now off of her name. There's going to be Deswana mu cells being sold in the hundreds of millions. Mark my words, okay? She's got clinics in Singapore that are using her name for the mu cells. There's other people in Mexico that are already doing this. I've seen the labels on the bottles. Nobody's talking about the enrichment the right way, okay? But you guys, you know, I'm trying to do you a little bit of a public service announcement and trying to teach you what you want before you know what you want, okay? It's kind of been my whole schmick since the beginning here. I've just, you know, I, I try to teach people stuff so you can make a logical decision and work with us because the fact of the matter is the Regenimax Clinic is going to be working with a very sound Muse product, okay? I, You know, I've heard that we're going to be getting them enriched up to 60%, okay? Made by a reputable lab. And we're going to be proving these things with third parties. Okay. Anybody who comes at you with paperwork from their lab that's going to prove these mu cells, take that with a grain of salt. Okay. You want to be, this is such niche science and not everybody can be doing it the right way. Trust me that for people to be getting peace of mind, you're going to be want to get, want to be getting the third party tests. Okay. To prove the enrichment levels. Don't get sold guys. I'm going to leave you a little takeaway. 
in the end, don't get sold on a big megaphone like Khan telling you, you know, he's the only guy that you should be working with because he works with celebrities or whatnot. Okay. And then get sold on a product that they're offering that's just bought and paid for it and put the Deswana name on it. Okay. You want to get peace of mind in the actual enrichment. Okay. So you're here first. I hope that, um, I hope that, you know, helps you guys with your decisions that you're making. There's going to be much more, much more coming down the pipe about our immune cells and how we're presenting them with the protocols. And guys, this is all, um, emerging medicine. Okay. So we're all going to be doing it together. Things are changing and I'm happy to share the stuff that I learn as it comes out or as I learn. Okay, guys. So I hope this has been helpful and I uh, look forward to the next time we speak. Regenimax.com. Adios for now.